Hi, um, our group is me, she comes back. Paula and Kale, and our project is to figure out a mathematical way to solve the Sudoku puzzle. Um, the normal way people usually try and solve these puzzles is through process of elimination and guess and check, which is usually the more simple method, but we have found a mathematical method which is doable but not really recommended because of the rigor. Um, so some simple things about Sudoku is that it has nine columns and nine rows. It's also broken up, broken up into nine different blocks. And the purpose of the game is to be able to have numbers one through nine in each block, row, and column. And you cannot repeat this. Um, some other things, there's actually two different kinds of Sudoku. They have this kind, and they also have the beginner's version, which is only a nine block one. Um, there's also a lot of different difficulties in books. Um, but yeah, this is basically the normal way of solving Sudoku. So basically, we're going to try and teach you how to solve a Sudoku puzzle with linear algebra. So as you can see, there are um, nine rows and nine columns, and in each row and column, you're not allowed to repeat the numbers, and the numbers range from one to nine. So each little box that's empty, you have to fill in with a variable. So example, this would be a one, this would be a two, and then you continue. If you add up the numbers, like the numbers in the range one through nine, you add them all up, you end up with 45. So this whole row should add up to 45, and so forth. All right, so now for the math part about this. So you actually say you would add up all the numbers, so it'd be A1 plus A2 plus 1 plus A4 plus should equal up to 45. Now, if you were to write all these equations for every single possibility you have, you would end up with 46 different variables and 26 different ways that you could do this. That's very complicated. So... It basically means you're, you can't really solve this using algebra. 